Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make coffee oil. I'll also explain the benefits of coffee oil so that you can decide for yourself if it's something that you want to try or add to your regular hair care regimen. If you're new here, my name is Samantha and on this channel, we talk about a healthy lifestyle so that we have healthier hair, healthy skin. I share my own natural hair journey. I did a big chop back in November, 2020, and I share a lot of DIY recipes for hair care products, skincare products, and healthy food ideas because I believe beauty starts from within. I also do product reviews from time to time because I do buy store-bought products now and again. So if you're interested in any of those things, then please go ahead and hit the red subscribe button if you haven't subscribed already. And also click the little bell icon so that whenever I have a new video on the channel, you'll be notified. And at this moment, I want to just give a big shout out to all my current subscribers. You guys are so amazing and I appreciate your support and invite other people to come and join the family. So coffee oil. There are two main ingredients in coffee that are beneficial for the hair, and these are caffeine and flavonoids. Caffeine is a stimulant, and therefore it stimulates the blood flow to the scalp. And um, if you watch my video in which I talked about the hair cycle and hair growth, you'll know why it's important to stimulate blood flow in the scalp, because then that will mean that more nutrients are delivered to the hair follicles, and this will stimulate hair growth. Caffeine also strengthens the hair, and therefore you you will end up with thicker, fuller hair. Caffeine prevents hair follicle damage and therefore more of your hair follicles will be healthy and producing hair and this will ultimately improve your hair density. Now I want to stress that it does not increase the number of hair follicles on your scalp. The number of hair follicles that's determined genetically. However, not all your follicles will be working and therefore using something like coffee oil, that caffeine in it is going to stimulate all of your hair follicles or as many of your hair follicles as possible and therefore now you'll just see that most of your hair follicles are producing hair and you will end up with more hair on your scalp. Caffeine blocks a hormone called dihydrotestosterone. This is DHT for short. And DHT is the hormone that is responsible for what's called male pattern bolting. This happens in both men and women, particularly women um, after a certain age. And um, therefore, using something that's going to block this hormone will stop hair loss. This hormone, what it does is when it binds to the hair follicles, it actually makes the hair follicles shrink and then they stop producing hair. So by blocking that hormone, you're going to block it from um, shrinking the hair follicles and the hair follicles will produce hair. Caffeine also stimulates the hair shaft elongation, so you will get longer, wider hair roots and uh, longer hair. And it also prolongs the anagen stage of the hair growth phase. In my video in which I talked about the hair cycle, I explained the, the hair growth phases, so please go ahead and watch that. I'll put a link to the video on the screen and in the description box so that you can watch it and know where I'm coming from. So essentially, if your anagen stage is um, longer, it means that your hair has more time to grow. Your hair follicles have more time to produce hair, so you will end up with uh, longer hair. And it'll also mean that the time when your hair would be naturally shed is going to be delayed, so you're going to prevent hair shedding. So it also reduces hair shedding just by making sure that all the hair follicles are healthier and they're working normally which is why it is an excellent treatment for excessive hair loss. The other thing I mentioned are the flavonoids and these are antioxidants and therefore they protect the hair as well as the skull from free radical damage. They also soften the hair which I think is just fascinating and they promote cell regeneration so they are good for healing damaged skin. Obviously it depends on the extent of the damage so it's not going to heal all types of damage. They also smooth the hair cuticle and therefore they reduce the frizz and add luster to your hair and they also help to retain moisture despite caffeine being um, a diuretic because we know the more coffee you drink the more you need to go to the toilet but the flavonoids actually help the hair to retain moisture and this also adds to the softening properties of the flavonoids. So coffee oil can be used to promote healthy hair growth 
It can also be used to add luster to dull hair. It can help to soften coarse hair, keep hair moisturized, reduce frizz, treat excessive hair loss through excessive hair shedding, alopecia, male pattern balding, and it can also be used to darken hair. So it's not going to be as effective as using a hair dye or even something like henna because it's just not that effective. Making coffee oil is very simple. You only need two ingredients. Number one, you need coffee. You can use either ground coffee or instant coffee. I'm going to use ground coffee and my blend, the one I'm using is very finely ground because I'm using the one that's um, espresso but you can use anything you want. If you don't have um, ground coffee you can use instant coffee, that's fine but if you're going to use instant coffee you need to make sure that it's pure coffee or at least it's got a decent amount of pure coffee in it and it's not just chicory. The next thing you need is an oil and when it comes to choosing oils it needs to be an oil number one it needs to be an oil that your hair likes so if your hair doesn't like a specific oil then don't bother using it number two it needs to be a penetrating oil because you want the coffee oil to be able to penetrate the skin through the skin pores so that it can nourish the hair follicles, stimulate the hair follicles. You also want a penetrating oil because then that can enter the hair shaft and it can do its job inside the hair shaft rather than just coat it from the outside. So there are lots of penetrating oils that you can choose from. Coconut oil is a fantastic one, almond oil, grapeseed oil, uh, jojoba oil is partly penetrating. So um, you can use that if you've got avocado oil is another one, olive oil, and, or rapeseed oil, a pure vegetable oil, sunflower oil. So there are lots. Just um, you know, do a bit of research. Make sure that you're using one that your hair likes. I'm going to use just a simple vegetable oil, which is uh, rapeseed oil, and that's going to do the job. And then the next thing we need to do is to warm these up. So we're going to use what's called the double boiler method. If you watched my other videos, you'll know that I've used this method um, for a lot of DIY. And um, essentially what it means is, you know, instead of putting these ingredients directly into the pot, we are going to put boiling water into the pot and put this over the hob. And, but we're going to put a bowl over the, the pot. And then that steam, that warmth that's coming, the heat that's coming from the boiling water is going to be the one that heats up the oils. The advantages of that is that one, the ingredients are not going to stick to the bottom of the pot and also it's less likely, less likely that you'll burn your ingredients because you really don't want to burn your um, coffee or your oils. So it's a fantastic way to do things. So the proportions that you need, I'm just going to give you the most basic measurements and you can adjust these accordingly depending on how much oil you want to make. Um, so I'm just going to make a very small amount and what you need so you're going to use one tablespoon of coffee so that's all i'm going to get one tablespoon in there and then i'm using a quarter cup of oil a cup of oil in there. The next step is to warm this up so I'm going to add water to my pot, put it over the hob and I'll come back and I'll show you the next step. So now I'm just warming up the oil and the coffee together on very low heat for about 30 minutes. You may need to do it longer if you are making more coffee oil so maybe one hour if you're making at least double the amount. So I'm making sure that the oil doesn't boil because that will just burn the coffee and um, you want to make sure that it's thoroughly mixed together because you want all of the oil to be um, thoroughly infused with the coffee. So I'm back. Um, I left my coffee oil to just warm up and infuse for about 35 minutes actually and, and this is what it looks like. So 
Um, so all I'm going to do now is just remove it from the hob and allow it to cool down completely. So please be careful when you're doing this step because you're handling you know, hot oil and you do not want to burn yourself on hot oil. So I'm going to take it off and then I'll just leave it to cool and then I'll come back and I'll show you the next step. Okay, so my coffee oil has cooled down completely and it's time for me to strain it because I don't want any of those uh, you know, gritty bits which are you know, the, the coffee grains to go into my hair. So you do need to strain it. Um, if you used instant coffee, then you're lucky because you don't need to do that. So if you use ground coffee, obviously this step is important and it's better to use something which um, is, is going to catch any fine grains. So um, I'm going to use my trusty um, pair of tights or at least the end part of a pair of tights because it's very fine. So it's going to catch all this fine grains. If you've got a very fine sieve, very, very fine sieve, you could use that as well. Um, alternatively, if you've got a French press um, or um, uh, uh, a bodum, you could use that instead. That will do the job quite quickly. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to put this over my jug. And I prefer to straight into a jug um, because I don't have a funnel and therefore it's much easier to pour things out of the jug. So just, you know, there's a little hole in there and all I'm going to do now is just um, stir it, make sure it's all well mixed and there's no sediment at all. And then I'm just going to put it, pour it all in there like so. So personally, I don't like um, squeezing this, you know, if, if I'm making an oil because it just gets really messy. So all I do is I, I just leave it to let gravity just bring the oil down. And then when it's almost drained, that's when I squeeze the remainder of the oil into there. So um, I'll show you what's happening now that the oil has actually started to get in there and that is your gorgeous coffee oil. So as you can see, it's um, dripping in. So I don't see any reason to go and make your hands all messy by squeezing this. Let gravity do its job for you and um, you'll get your beautiful coffee oil. And then when it's almost through, you know, when most of the oil is drips and then you can squeeze the rest, but it doesn't mean that you're gonna have you know, coffee oil all over your hands so I'm just gonna leave it there so it might take a few minutes um, maybe half an hour you never know but I'm not in a hurry and um, I'll just put this back over here carefully yeah, so just let it sit like so was just will just um, seep through and go into the jug so um, or whatever container you decide to use so um, I'll see you when it's done and I'll show you our beautiful coffee oil and explain how you can use it so this is the result of just leaving it to just drip into the jug so um, all I'm gonna do now is just squeeze as much as I can um, any residual oil but um, as you can see, it makes life a lot easier rather than trying to squeeze a whole bag of oil. So there it is, the beautiful coffee oil absolutely amazing so i'm just going to put this in a jar so um i cleaned this disinfected it with boiled salty water and i'll just pour it all in there might be a bit of sediment at the bottom but that's fine it all goes in and 
this is it. We are done. Beautiful coffee oil. So the coffee oil is great to use as a, um, a pre-poo, so you can use it as a hot oil treatment. So you just apply it to your scalp and to your hair, um, mainly the scalp, but also to your hair, just to make sure that you're stimulating the, um, the scalp, but also to your hair because that'll make it nice and glossy, soft, and all the other benefits that I mentioned earlier. Um, you can also use it uh, during the conditioning process. All you do is just, um, Add it to your deep conditioner. Uh, you can also add it a little bit to your shampoo if you want to. So it is a very versatile oil. If you want to boost hair growth, so let's say you suffer from hair loss, male, pot, male pattern balding, um, then you can just apply this oil directly to your scalp and you can leave it in. So you don't need to wash it off at all. Um, because there's absolutely no moisture in there, it can keep for about six months. You don't need to put it in the fridge. So it's so easy to keep. So that's it, my friends. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you found it interesting, informative and helpful. And if you decide to make coffee oil and you use it, please let me know how you get on. And uh, I'd really appreciate it if you share the video with other people who you think may want to use coffee oil for all those things that I explained earlier in terms of what it can be used for. So again, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please hit the red subscribe button. Also click the little bell icon and please give the video a big thumbs up. I'll really appreciate that. So until next time, take care, my friends, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.